The Nigerian Postal Institute, NPI, Ego, Benin, has hailed Edo State Governor Gordon Obaseki for building a strategic role to its office after over 30 years of abandonment. The Institute's appreciative workers, led by its director, Dr. Julius Ajori, yesterday took off from the Capacity Building Center and moved on to the long stretch of the newly constructed Nine Post Road. While enjoying Thanksgiving music from a higher DJ who mounted big loudspeakers at the back of a Toyota Hilux van with equipment powered by a generator, the executive workers also made a stop over at the palace of the traditional ruler, Enoge of Ego, Benin City, Tony Ogiego, who was represented by his son Prince Idurase. He praised Obaseki for the initiative, but urged him to extend the construction to the palace deplorable road. The director of the institute told reporters, We want to thank God and the wake and see governor of Edo State. Mr. Obaseki, one day we woke up and saw Naipos Road being constructed. The road was abandoned for more than 30 years now. Our appreciation also goes to our Postmaster General, Dr. Adebayo Adewunsi, a very humble man with listening ears. We told him to come to Edo State. He came early this year and met with Governor Gordon Obaseki at the government house in GRA Benin City and the roads were constructed. The time the governor sent people to measure the road, I was not there. When they came to construct the road, I was also not there. We want to thank everyone that makes the construction of the road possible. The building of the road is going to help the Nigerian Postal Service Nine Post to aid the NPI. People have been finding it very difficult to come to this place because of the bad road. The construction is going to bring the attention of many stakeholders because we have facilities that can be used. We have two standard football fields. We have a hall that can be used for events. While we also have hotels for rent by the public when we're not using them for training. Ajari said, with the construction of the NPI's road, there will be no problem using events on the campus, adding that the road will attract business ventures, development and support the collaboration for the institute. This is a road that has been abandoned for over 30 years. Obaseki um, builds abandoned road. And um, that community, they are very, um, really, really excited, appreciating the governor, the Nigerian Postal Institute, NPI, Benin. They are the one hailing the state governor, Gordon Obaseki. And look at the name they called him here, Wake and See Governor. You know, days leading to the Edo State Governorship election, um, that name came up and uh, um, that was the name he was being called when he was going around for his campaign because they've seen his developmental stride despite all of um, the propagandas at that point in time we know uh, <laughs> election period is truly truly an intriguing one because um, all sort comes up you that's when we begin to hear claims counter claims propagandas and all it was really intense so despite all of those that were coming all of the things that were being thrown at governor Gordon Obaseki, the people still maintained that he was a wake and see governor so when he even visited a different enoges uh there was one time he visited one of the uh, um, traditional rulers in benin city there uh, and they, they told him that uh, the reason the people call you wake and see governor they've not just given you that name but it's because they've seen your developmental stride and um, whatever you say you would do uh you normally um carry it you you complete it they see it at the end of the day that yes he said he was going to do this and he did it just like this road they are really happy that this road has been in a very bad state 30 years meaning that even before he started his first tenure the road has been in a very bad condition if we add two administrations pass because it's eight years each so even adam social administration this road was still bad the previous governor of the state it means this road was still bad it, that's really a long time 30 years and what they are really excited about is that um, now they know that uh, uh, um, they are going to uh, be open to new opportunities because if the road is so bad, stakeholders will not even think about coming that way. You know, they talked about the various halls that they have, which they can use for different purposes. That they have halls that can be used as uh, for events, 
they have a standard football field but um, nobody is asking that nobody's coming that way because even if anybody wants to try and uh, um, rent the events the halls for an event if the road is so bad who will turn up they have hotels and then that is bad business for them it's not a good business so they are really excited because then things will begin to change and with all of this that will be happening um uh, with uh, with this new road that has just been constructed with activities that will begin to uh, uh, come up like people renting the event hall the hostel the hotels being in use it will begin to give uh, more job opportunities making Edo state great again is a mandate of the governor and um, when things like this happens it puts a um, smile on the face of the people that uh, we know that uh, we did not cast our vote on the wrong place we didn't cast our vote um, on the wrong person you know when obaseki moved the the period when he was uh, finalizing his movement from the all progressive congress uh, um, his supporters people from Edo states they were like do you know what we don't even we are not even bothered about where you move to that is not what matters the most whichever party you go we know that uh, you will deliver that was the sort of um, confidence they have in him and we can see that up till now he's not um, filled the good people of Edo state he's been uh, um, doing a lot of things bringing out a lot of initiatives that uh, uh, every now and then you see them commending and praising and then really really appreciating his works right now they're appreciating this one that he did over 30 years abandoned road you know uh one thing we we uh, one of the issues we have in nigeria is uh, that of continuity that is a major problem when a new leadership takes over it feels like oh that was in my project so i don't have any business with that or i'm going to start my own so that uh, um, uh, i was commission it everybody will hear about it everybody will know about it that is not what puts the society our country our nation in a good uh, position continuity is key 30 years standing and governors have come and come and come and they, they've gone and this road has remained in a bad shape thank god Albaseki uh, um, uh, uh, rose up to the call and he's actually um, constructed that road that road has been constructed now and serious appreciation is going to his administration because uh, if um, he did not show any interest, if he looked at it the way other past governors looked at it, that, wow, this is not my project, I did not start it, it's not part of uh, uh, the areas we talked about, it's been there for a long time, this community, they will still be having this challenge. A beautiful one from Governor Godin Obaseki. Anyway, guys, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.